Hi guys, this is uh, Srikant Dasari. So in this video, we are going to continue our uh, study on uh, the basic data type integer. Okay, let me launch the IDE and quickly create a new project here. Find new project. So let's name our project as uh, integer variance. Let me create new uh, C file. Make it as types dot c. So let's make it full screen and add some couple of uh, header files here. I should include all these things are uh, basic stuff needed for every program. Conevodic void main. Okay. So in the last lesson, we have uh, studied the variance of int uh, based on sign. So in this uh, lesson, we are going to concentrate on uh, capacity and uh, length factor. Okay. So based on the capacity or length, capacity or length. Sorry, it's not end here. Based on capacity or length, there are uh, two kinds of uh, mainly two kinds of variants of int, which were uh, like this short int, shiver. So let us name the variable as uh, shiver, or else you can add an underscore here for the convenience purpose, and uh, long int. Okay, well, either. So in the same way, you can have. Uh, combination of both uh, sign and uh, capacity capacity or length okay they are going to be unsigned short int unsigned short int us either and uh, unsigned Unsigned long int ul i where okay so I just omitted the signed uh, qualifier uh, signed qualifier uh, since we have discussed in the last video that both uh, if you if you keep sign or else if you omit uh, it's going to consider it as signed integer or signed short int like this okay so coming to uh, short int short int uh, is going to be or the capacity or you can say the capacity of uh, short int is exactly is exactly the half half of int int type okay so as uh, i am using a, a visual c++ compiler here on a windows 7 machine uh, as we have uh, learned that int is 4 bytes and uh, if int is 4 bytes then the size of a short int variable would be 2 bytes exactly half of the the capacity of the int okay so if you want to check out the size of the short int you can use the size of operator slash 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 the size of short Short int SHI there for understanding the capacity. So percentage D size of SHI there. Okay. So let us add the getch function here to make the output constant. So let me run the program. So we get two. Okay. The short int, uh, as we as we have learned that uh, the capacity of short int uh, or the number of bytes it occupies in a system 
is exactly the hop of the whatever the integer occupies in that system okay in the same way you can obtain can obtain the range of the short int using uh, uh, two uh, macros which were defined in the limit storage they are uh, sh int max so first let me add the limit storage here limits storage so all the qualifiers uh, which specify the maximum and uh, minimum values uh, are stored in the limit storage so let us uh, print the range percentage t to percentage t shrt min okay this is the qualifier or so, sorry this is the macro which contains the minimum value of the short int okay in the same way we have uh, shrt max so quickly let me run the program so you obtain the range of the short int here which is roughly 32768 to 32767 as you observe if you are using c in, uh, if you are doing c in turbo c in a older machine this is the range of the actual integer in that case the range of the short int would be one byte which is exactly half of the uh, capacity of that machine respectively okay so you might wonder um, how did you get that uh, value so there is a little bit of uh, mathematical calculation since uh, short int occupies here two bytes okay two bytes is equal to 16 bits okay roughly each byte holds eight bits uh, since uh, short int occupies 2 bytes here, we can say that it occupies 16 bits of uh, space. So we have a, a small mathematical formula to obtain the range. Minus 2 to the power of, to represent the power I am using the caret symbol here, n minus 1. n minus 1. Here n is the number of bits here. n number of bits, so we can substitute 16 minus 1. That is going to be 15 okay 2 2 to the power of n minus 1 that means 16 minus 1 15 2 to the power of 15 minus 1 okay if you calculate this value uh, you are going to get the range whatever uh, we got the range of uh, short in here running the program so if you calculate uh, this formula uh, in the calculator or in the system this is going to give you the exact result of what you have obtained here okay so that is uh, the about uh, short int here okay in the same way you have a long int so long int occupies four bytes in in a in a 32 bit machine uh, both the int and long int will occupy the same size in the memory okay so if you want to check the size of long int you can uh, quickly use the size of operator the size of long int where l i where okay percentage d size of l i where okay so if you run the program you got 4 okay as we discussed as we have learned that the size of long int is 4 bytes so since uh, 4 bytes and uh, it's the same as the capacity of int okay the long int and int are same in 32 bit machines where uh, where the system has uh, specified if it is in the case of uh, older machines uh, like Turbo C and in, in Windows XP environment, you might get a change uh, when you are using a long int. Okay, so so that's all about uh, long int here. So if you want to assign uh, some value uh, to a long int, uh, you can use a specifier. Okay, you can use a suffix which specifies. Uh, 
that the value is a uh, along it okay if you are saying something like 33000 and if you specify suffix uh, l which shows that the variable is a uh, long int which holds the value of long int so quickly you can print the print the value using the qualifier slash and slash t l so l i where percentage t mm, l hyphen i where okay so if you run the program there is some uh, small mistake here l i where is the sorry i have went uh, the problem with uh, this kind of advanced compilers is that uh, it shows the previously compiled output even though you have some uh, small uh, errors in your program. So we need to be very careful by using uh, Visual C++ environment for doing the C code. Okay, so let me run the program. So you got the exact value. So you got the exact value of what you have expected. Uh, you have stored in the long int. Okay, the qualifier, the suffix specifies the type. Suffix specifies the type of value which is assigned to the variable. In the same way, we have uh, unsigned short int and unsigned long int. Okay. So let us discuss about uh, these two types in the next video. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.